Adam, welcome to Floor Talk. It's great to have you on the show today. Thank you, Judy. Really excited to be here. Pleasure. So Adam, I want to start off by learning more about you and the company you founded, Ditto. Ditto is a software platform that keeps devices connected and communicating even when there's no internet. I started Ditto in 2018 because at that time I saw a massive shift occurring. We're now supercomputers in your pocket. And so that presented a huge opportunity to build software that would run on those devices, but there was still a major challenge. Modern mobile devices still um, are reliant on wireless systems to communicate, and those are never perfect. And so Ditto solves this by enabling devices to process and share data locally, which we call edge computing, which is the next major shift beyond the cloud. Now, Adam, I understand that Ditto has had quite a year already. Um, can you outline some of the highlights for our viewers? We've had a bunch of great successes. Most recently, we completed our Series B funding, raising $82 million led by top tier capital partners and Accrue Capital. Uh, this significant round of funding is enabling us to expand, um, including opening a second office in Atlanta and um, growing our workforce. And so uh, we are really excited about that and we are continuing to make more investments in the product itself. Actually, just today, uh, we are announcing uh, general availability of our connector with MongoDB. And so Ditto's Edge platform um, is now able to connect directly with Mongo's cloud database. And we have major brands shifting their Edge capabilities over to Ditto as part of this partnership. We're really excited because it combines the best of breed cloud database through Mongo with Ditto's Edge capabilities, uh, which is an incredible platform to build uh, new software applications on top of. And finally, the, the other major um, significant event is that in addition to selling to commercial businesses, Ditto has a thriving defense business. And so our software you could term as dual use, meaning it has applications for commercial businesses, but also defense and national security um, use cases. This was an early bet we made um, in the life of the company, and it is now starting to pay off. We were recently awarded a $28 million contract with the Air Force, which is extremely validating for our technology that it is critical to national security. So Adam, let's circle back on Ditto's role in the evolution of enterprise architecture. How are you defining this evolution? What's interesting about the history of computing and software architectures is it's been a series of waves. If you think back to the original computers, these were the mainframe computers that were huge and took up you know, entire rooms. The software that ran on those computers, you would term that as centralized uh, computing because the only place where that software could run is directly on those massive machines. But in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, with the rise of personal computers, we were able to shrink uh, the processing power down to something that could fit you know, on your, on your uh, desktop. And as a result, what happened is software architectures became decentralized, where we installed software locally on those computers and we ran software there. But interestingly, this reversed in the early wave of mobile devices. Uh, as I was mentioning, you know, the original iPhone was so underpowered that you couldn't really run software on it Instead, those devices paralleled the rise of cloud computing, which was again a centralized approach to building software where the software ran in major data centers. But in starting Ditto in 2018, we saw that there was a major shift happening towards edge computing, which is where software now can run on these powerful mobile and other edge computers, where you can once again um, run software there and process data locally where it's generated. Um, and that has huge benefits for businesses because this enables them to build a more resilient architecture. That's the benefit of decentralized architectures is there's not one thing that can fail. Um, in addition, it can lead to better processing times and even improvements for privacy and security. And so we're really excited because Ditto is ushering this wave um, as this sh shift happens towards edge computing. Now, dive down a little deeper into what you mean by the term edge native and where Ditto fits into that new nomenclature. With the rise of cloud computing, there was um, the term cloud native, which meant building software applications that were really designed to leverage the cloud at its best. And so with the rise of edge computing, um, edge native means building software that can leverage the best 
um, of those edge devices. And so what it means is enabling the processing of the software to happen on those uh, mobile devices. And so um, critical to enabling software that's edge native though, is ensuring that the data can be processed and communicated at the edge. And that's what Ditto does. Ditto's platform enables you to communicate and share data even when there's no internet access. And so that enables uh, uh, huge improvements for businesses um, that have huge deskless workers. And so outside of you know all the computers here, um, workers that are operating out in the field, in the real world, they're carrying around mobile and other edge devices and they're facing challenges staying connected. And so Ditto's platform enables that software to run on those devices and still communicate with other nearby devices um, or with the cloud. Adam, that's very interesting. Can you describe more specifically how Edge Native will make a difference for the deskless workforce and provide a few examples of industries where technology like Ditto's would be a natural fit? We have customers across uh, all different types of verticals, as I had mentioned, selling into commercial use cases and defense. Um, and so some good examples are, um, uh, one of our biggest customers is Chick-fil-A. And so imagine you're at a restaurant uh, and you're trying to process orders. Um, so Chick-fil-A you know, is famous for their focus on the customer experience, but they also have incredible demand. And so they've adopted all these mobile devices throughout their restaurants, including in their drive-through, where they're taking orders. And so what they don't want to happen is for that data to get lost or for any sort of delay, because that ultimately results in a bad customer experience um, or potentially even lost revenue. And so they've made significant investments as like other companies that have these, um, you know, uh, commercial businesses that are out in the field uh, where they're investing heavily into IT infrastructure that's running in those environments. But that's really expensive. You're talking about running servers at the store or other Wi-Fi equipment. And instead, Ditto tra transforms that where instead of this challenge of having to install a bunch of hardware to achieve uh, the software uh, connectivity that you need in the store, Instead, Ditto transforms that hardware into a software problem. And so our platform keeps all of their mobile devices connected over things like peer-to-peer Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And so these are capabilities that if you've ever used AirDrop um, or other capabilities like that on your mobile device, it's actually sort of like a hidden magical feature where devices can connect directly to each other. Um, what this means for businesses like Chick-fil-A is a massive cost savings. They don't have to spend a lot of money investing into more IT infrastructure at the stores, but crucially, they also don't need to maintain that infrastructure. If you're an hourly worker at a fast food restaurant, you are not equipped to fix the IT equipment when it goes down. And so businesses like Chick-fil-A have to invest into significant resources to have um, folks that can go out and fix this on demand. That's a huge cost to their business. If instead using Ditto, you can just have smart software that keeps those devices connected and communicating regardless of what's happening, there's a massive cost savings to it. Um, and so in addition to um, Chick-fil-A and other restaurant businesses, we also sell heavily into the airline industry. So Delta Airline uses us uh, to connect their flight attendant and their crew to enable them sh to share data both in the air, but also on the ground. And so this has huge operational benefits. It means they can share information such as meal inventory information, so passengers get the right meals when they're on the plane, in addition to safety information. Um, and this translates into huge savings, such as when the plane is at the gate, when they're trying to turn it around. Because you think about airlines, they don't make money unless the plane's in the air. And so Ditto helps make sure that that can happen as quickly as possible um, and ultimately provide a better experience for those passengers. And so we're really excited about ushering in this edge native um, architecture. Um, in addition to that, um, it's not just about mobile devices either. It's also other types of devices, such as devices like an NVIDIA Jetson device, which is a small, powerful computer that enables you to run AI workloads at the edge. Um, you know, obviously AI is huge talk right now, but increasingly we're seeing businesses want to push workloads into edge devices to complement the large models that are running in the cloud. Because running AI at the edge means you can reduce costs, 
you can improve processing time, and you can also have better security and privacy. And so Ditto plays a crucial role with those types of devices and use cases as well, because we enable seamless communication of syncing the data that's required um, for the AI. That's the models, data, metadata, everything that needs to run on those devices or nearby devices. So we're really excited um, to be um, at this point where edge computing is becoming critical to all different types of businesses. All right, well, Adam, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thank you for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you very much.